It's been to Europe, California, been in jail.
pretty good on that last one. That was very good. I, I think I have some juice, don't I? No juice, no brown. What is that? Brady is slacking. Is that mine? Yeah. Okay. Brady is slacking. I was drinking Gatorade last time we saw you. Now I've gone to the hard stuff. Prune juice. <laughs> so if you see me running toward the bathroom, you know it's working. This is the one that got it started for me back in 1964. Say you are. Say you over there. Please come here. Say you over there. Oh, don't.
working in the sewage plant. <laughs> and, 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 I, and I heard Elvis, I said, well, I gotta start singing, because all the women were chasing me. I said, I can do that. I started a little waterfront cafe, most of you here are not old enough, but it was called Elmer's, down on the corner of Pratt and Light Street. Dummy me, I started my career in the roughest, toughest, meanest, the motorcycle gangs hung out there, the merchants, Two or three fights a week myself. I got scars all over my body. I, I want to show you one? Okay. No, that, that wasn't down there. No. Oh, I'm getting carried away. It's all right, Ronnie. All right, Ronnie. All right, Ronnie, you got to record this. I want to be. Well, 
then you're going to be fine. Love's your one. Oh, when the preacher says you're mine. Love's your one. Everything is going to be fine. Love's your one. When we walk down the aisle, Love's I want to be, I want to be your love, boy. On the stand I mentioned that he uh, first started, I think, in 1999. He went to Nashville for Memphis. And of course, he ended up winning one of the contests best Elvis in the whole world. What year was that? 2006. 2006. So give him a nice round of applause. You only get to win it once. And he won it, and I got to meet him. I think it was 207, wasn't it? Or was it 206 I met him? But I met him back, I went down to Memphis with Darlene and met him, it was wonderful. I mean, of course Elvis is my hero. But I think, and you, I want your opinion, he has got Elvis in his voice. He also has a good friend of mine in his voice, Tom Jones. So he's Tom Jones and Elvis presently put together, how about that? Now that's a killer, that's a killer singer, man, when you can do both of them. But anyway, this is one of my favorites. Now girls, get you puckered up. You know what I'm gonna do, right? Don't hurt me now, be gentle. Are you sure? She was shaking her head, no I'm not. Okay. See if you remember the 1965, this won every award you could win. One kiss for old time. Just like in you and me. One kiss for all time could bring you back to me. If you give me a chance to love you one more time. Thank you. 
Roger Frost. Yeah. Uh, did, 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 did you see what she tried to do? Miss French? Oh yeah. By the way, she's from France. Yeah, Johnny. Johnny played with me for 25 years. Okay. Well, I'll talk to you after the show, okay? Did I miss anybody? Oh, I miss Darlene. I gave her to him. All right, let's get back to the show. Huh? Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, we have a birthday. Annie, 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 Annie. We have two ladies in the audience. That one is 92, give them the names. Okay, we've got a birthday for Margaret Hoffman, who is 92. Oh, wait a minute, we gotta find Margaret first. Where's Margaret? All right, this is Margaret, now who's the other one? The other one is... Oh, you can't stand up, can you, Mark? You're 92? 92, okay, now well, how's the other lady? Dorothy Rosendale. You're, you're 92. You're both 92? Dorothy you're, Ro you're, Oh. Never mind. <laughs> and boy, she, she's 92 years old, but damn, she don't know how to kiss. Wow! All right, Mama. Woo! You're a hot baby. Okay. Give me kids. It's your birthday. Yep. Yeah. All right. So happy birthday, girls. I love you both. Thank you for coming. They said that uh, you guys wanted to see me one more time before I got too old. <laughs> Is that right? She said, we better go see Ryan. He's getting up in age. We might not be able to see him because we only got about 10 more years to live here. And Ronnie's pretty wild, so he... Uh... Yes? Come around? Okay, I'm, I'm going to do the rest of the show and you can take all the damn pictures you want, okay? Yes, sir. Oh, yes. Yeah. Now, he's bragging. Did you hear what he said? He's bragging. He said, I lost 45 pounds one day. What did they do to you? Circumcised him, yeah. I don't think I wanted to see that. I, I know a couple of horses ain't that damn big. <laughs> My drink must be over here. All right. Now the next song we're gonna do, of course, that song that I did, One Kiss for Old Town Saint, Bobby Darren um, called me on the phone and said, Ronnie, I got your next kid. Not knowing that he was uh, the publisher of my first song, Say You. So he calls me on the phone and says, Ronnie, I got your next hit. And I said, who is this? He said, Bobby Darren. <coughs> Bullshit. <laughs> it was Bobby Darren. So I flew out to California. Thank you. We went out and played baseball because I loved ba I was a catcher in high school. I caught Drysdale and Sandy Koufax. Then we went to listen to One Kiss for Old Time's Sake. That went to the top of the charts and then Call me again right while that was still moving. He said, I got your next tip. Flew back to California and this is the song. And you all know it. You better sing it with me. All right. 1965. Got a little bit of heaven. Got a little bit of heaven. In this long.
my door I got the stars Oh, they're all in her Studios, which was kind of exciting. But I'm in the, I'm in 
recording this song, and uh, I go into the room where they have play playback. It's called a playback room. And there's Elvis. I almost shit. And if I remember right, when I went back to the hotel, they were kind of messy. But that's probably the most exciting thing I've ever seen. He was there and he says, Ronnie, he gave me a big hug and I'm, oh my God, Elvis is hugging me. Because without him, I would not be here, and that's true. And I don't think so if Franz hadn't, had a, hadn't heard him when he was like four years old. But he said, you know, Ronnie, that high note that you hit on Say You, I said, you, you heard that, because Say You was my first hit. Sold five copies. I said, you know, I said, oh God, yeah, that note you hit it in, you gotta do that. And I'd already recorded right around, we just slipped it back to see how it was. I, I did it like Wanda Jackson did it, with that in there. And he said, you gotta go put that high note in, that's your trademark. I said, shit, I only have one record. I can have a trademark already. He said, well, that's it. So I went back in and Bill Jefferson said, okay, we can do it one more time. A 30-piece orchestra played this. other later named Lionel. So when I recorded this song, this has been a long time ago, that was their favorite song because it happened to them. Didn't happen to me. Everybody thinks that it happened to me because I was married so many times. 
I wish I had known that I would have recorded that song then. Saved me a lot of alimony. But I have, I have six wonderful children. And one of them's here tonight. I want you to give him a hand back. Turn him back. His name is Wayne. Where are you, Wayne? Stand up, Wayne. Is Wayne in the bar again? He's a dove. Back there sucking up that crown royal just like Daddy. But it's called She Feels So Right. I feel so bad. Oh, oh, he came out of the bar. Give him my hand. Come up here, son. Chick, I tell everybody you don't drink. I lied. Not since he invented the funnel. No. Ladies and gentlemen, my son Wayne. Come on, give him my hand. Thanks for my son. I love you. A nice hand. That's my baby.
declare her a saint. Yes, my yes, Saint Saint Marty. Because all those operations I was telling you about, the hip, the triple bypass, the hernias, the knee replacement, she was there to take care of me, give her a hand. So in 1991, I sat down and wrote this song about her. I wrote songs about all my ex-wives. <laughs> Number five, I wrote a song, Don't Let the Door Hit You. Where the good Lord spits you. <laughs> this is for you, Marty. I love you, baby. That's me. That's you. Have I told you that I love you today? Next song, is there any women in here named Ruby? Uh -oh. Uh -oh. She's over there. We, do, we have a girl named Ruby? Yeah. Well, I'm, well I, 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 I'm, I'm pretending that I don't know who the hell you are, okay? <laughs> You're supposed to jump up and say, my name's Ruby! Go with the flow, girl. Come on, you know? And also, Mary, would you come up? I got two women that love this song, and they're going to help me do this. Mary, come on up here. Uh oh, look. You got an outfit. Look, she's got an outfit on, too. Look at that. Now, she's going to help us, okay? No, no. Her name is Mary. This is Ruby. Is your husband here? You don't worry about him. I do. Let's do it, guys. I made a bed, I was gonna get you. I 
She the queen of all the bays. Now she's become a victim of man's neglectful way. called Splish Splash, and I want you to give him a nice round of applause. I'm going to go over here and sit down. Take it away, pal. Your show. All right. Splish Splash, I was taking a bath. Yeah. Moving in a room, rolling in a stone age. 
show and we appreciate that were you were you up there with mike did you go last night yep so he was up there with franz up in pennsylvania at mike Pryor's place yep of course did, did you get him sing there yep did you yeah. you opened for him oh no i didn't get to sing for him. <laughs> you didn't let him sing oh, yeah. okay you better the next time you better take him up there too ladies and gentlemen one more time for my protege because I'm looking out for him. I know he's going to be a big star. We love you. Yeah. Yeah. He goes in. You better go because he's got a hell of a show. Baby, this is your song. What is this song? You want to do it with me? Tony's not here. Your husband's not here. You can sing with me. You like me by myself? I don't remember. <laughs> it's for you, darling. Jimmy Elledge wrote this song, the guy that, we go that I did. Down. Down. And we recorded, I think it was back in the 80s. This is for you. One, two, three, four.
Maybe, maybe Bernie. Because I, I got some more show to do. Come here, Bernie. Oh, no, 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 no. Put your money back. Huh? You're going to challenge him? Me or him? I, 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 don't, I, I got my dress suit on. It's in my closet. Oh. But I do, ha I do have that. Yes, I do. I have that medal. How many here? Oh, by the way, I have a good friend who came all the way from Pennsylvania about three, four weeks ago. His lovely wife called me and told me that he has cancer. And he's the one, I don't know how many of you were there the night uh, of my birthday, September the 7th at the Glen Burnie Moose. But he's the one, when I lost my hearing aid, he pulled his hearing aid out, came up and I sang for another two hours. Yeah. And he's here tonight, he's, all, um, he's taking all kinds of medicines, but we want to pray for him tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, my good friend Pete, would you stand up? And he's gonna, he's gonna beat it, he's gonna beat the cancer. I love you, dude. And you, had, you, you had cancer also. I'm not going to thank cancer for you. No, you got to put that certificate. I'm sorry. I'm not going to thank cancer for you. And all you got to do is believe in Jesus. He'll heal you. She had, she had, she's had cancer since she was a baby. Amen, sister. Pray for him tonight, folks, would you please? All right. Do we have any country fans in here tonight? I want to hear it. Do you have country fans? Well, I had the pleasure and the wonderful time spending with this man. I lived in Nashville for 15 years. And uh, I took him home more than Farron Young. Farron Young, George Jones, and myself run around the hill. They called us the three must people. <laughs> but I was the one they would call four o'clock in the morning at five. Hey, Ryan, down for the Broadway. I said, we're about to for the Broadway. Damn fine, no. <laughs> so you come and get me. So I'd drive down, drive all of you down Broadway until I found him laying there on the sidewalk. <laughs> I'd pick him up, put him in the car, and take him home. And then, of course, he met this wonderful lady, and he straightened his whole life out. Because at that time, he was called No Show Jones. But she straightened him out, uh, and I met him several years later in California with a Dick Clark. They gave him a big, a big welcome and gave him, honored him with some plaques and stuff. And he says to me, we were talking about the old days. And this is in the 80s now, so this was the 60s when I was there, 70s. Yeah, 60s. So anyway, he said, you know, you already recorded that song that I had. Which one, George? He stopped loving her today. That's a great song. That's good for you. I said, shit, I can't sing it like you. He said, I know, but sing it anyway. <laughs> so here it is. He said, I love you till I die. She told him you'll forget in time. As the years went slowly by, she still prayed upon his mind. He kept her picture on his wall. When half crazy now and then, he still.
see no tears All dressed up to go away First time I'd seen him smile in years He stopped loving her today They placed a wreath upon his door And soon they'll carry him away He stopped loving her
this to you, Brandy, and Daryl, and Dawn. Okay, Mike? By the way, ladies and gentlemen, do you ever watch uh, House of Cards? It's on home box up. You don't watch House of Cards? Well, he's in the House of Cards. Give him a nice round of applause. Mike all stand up and take a bow. And Don's in the two. They, they got big parts in that movie. And uh, I don't, you, you, you had The Wire. That was, that was the first one. The Wire, he was in that one also. So he's a dear friend. Brought me a nice bottle of Crown Royal today. One of those expensive ones. Not only was he expensive stuff, he had my name, Ronnie Dove, put on the front and on the back, it had one drink for old time's sake. <laughs> Thank you, Michael. And I'm gonna have one as soon as I get the hell over here and get that bottle open. All right. But I'm gonna do this song for you, Brandy and Girl, and your lovely wife, Dawn, and you, Mike. It's a song now. No. They're not married yet. You're having fun. sex, aren't you? That's all I care about. You don't have to be married. I, I did that too. Six times. Oh. Oh. <laughs> but Franz was going to do this song. I said, hey, Franz, I got, I got to do this song because he was going to sing it, and I know he was going to sing it great. But I'm going to do this off Franz now. This is my version of the good friend of mine, Mr. Todd Jones. <laughs>
to town, you guys better come and see him because I, I'm, I was so impressed. I said, there's Tom Jones and Elvis Presley put together. And that's the way I feel. I had goose pimples all over my body Friday night. I went home with my wife and almost had sex. <laughs> Come on, one more hand for fun. Now this is the way I like to do shows. We get everybody involved. The women get up and sing. The other singers get up and sing. Once in a while, I'll get up and sing. Here's a little song that I... Well, by the way, Marty, do you have any CDs tonight? We have all the songs that I've done tonight, my lovely wife has it on CD or on DVD or, or whatever they do back now. <laughs> For all of you, because this song I'm going to send out to you, Pete. Okay? This is yours.
kind of special. Have you had a good time? Yeah. Well, let's hear it. She showed me the sign and she said, you're going to sing her. And I said, bullshit. <laughs> you do a magnificent job on that. And, and thank you for not doing this one because this is one of my favorites. You were going to do this. You're going to do my whole damn show tonight. You know that, don't you? <laughs> but you're kind enough to let me do this one. Okay, we got to do this first. Well, my son's in the back. But, okay. Excuse him. Talk amongst yourselves. <laughs> okay, he's telling me about something he's going to do after he gets off. <laughs> I don't have any. They have some in the bathroom, in the, in the men's room. TMI. Put, put, I think it's a dollar now. It's still a dollar. <laughs> TMI. Yeah, it's, it's for you. Be quiet. Did I get through here? I've lost 40 pounds. I ought to be able to, shouldn't I? Yes. You having a good time, girls? That's good. All right, where's my son? Oh, now, who do you want me to sing to? Oh, this whole table. This table is the rowdy table. That's why you put us in the back. Darlene, that's why you put us in the back. Uh-oh, uh-oh. All right, let's, let's do a little bit of this because we, we're going to sing Unchained Melody. I'm going to sing it. Oh 
back there, we're gonna run around and take you over to the studio here, buddy. No, I, I got a birthday, Patty's birthday. Oh, yeah. oh, by the way, no, let's do this first. Yeah, I'll do you. It's Franz's birthday tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, come on here, Franz. He's 40 years old, just believe it. I'm twice as old as him. Come up here, it's your birthday. We're gonna sing happy birthday to Franz, okay? Hey. Good friend now, Mr. Franz. Oh, by the way, did you watch football yesterday? You probably didn't get a chance. But at the football games and the college games, they had the United States flag, they were running down, and they had the French flag. And by the way, ladies and gentlemen, Friday he was here, that's when all the start, that's when had all the trouble in France. His son was at that soccer game. And we we had some lovely people. I think it was you, wasn't it, Sandy? She got her phone, got a hold to find out he was okay, so he was blessed. His son was at that place and all those folks got killed. So just, I, if, and, I, and I know you probably wanted to go home, right? But you had this show to do, and you found out your son was okay, and you did a marvelous job. I'm just proud to say that we're good friends now, because I love you. Let's do it now. Give me the C chord. You don't get to sing. I get to sing. <laughs> Happy birthday. No, wait, well, we, we got a different one for the men, okay? The girls, I'm going to do the girls. You all need to get this. This is for the men. <laughs> Not that way. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. To you. How many women have you had in your lifetime? <laughs> Happy birthday, dear friends. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Stand up, watch take it, watch a bow, stand up, take a bow, get plastered, you bad boy. Happy birthday to you. Is that a good birthday or not? We're going to do a lot of shows. God bless you. to this one young lady. She's gorgeous. She's just unbelievable. And it's her birthday. Now, I'm not going to ask you how old you are, Patty. Because I've known your mother. <laughs> but it's your, how old are you? <laughs> She's 27. Was I over or under? Uh, give me the C chord again. Now, this is the way we do it for the girls. It's a whole lot different. From watching. Hey, Franz, you better get out of here because this is, you got to do this when you go back to France and Belgium. This is the way you sing happy birthday to the girls, okay? Different than I did for you. Happy birthday to you. I forgot the words. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Patty. Oh, yes. You got no wrong. Damn. Happy birthday to My wife will wipe it off with a wrench. <laughs> All right, we would like to pay tribute now. The eye came up, oh, Darlene, please. 
Ladies and gentlemen, without this lady, she's been with me for a number of years. Uh, I, I thought it was 30. She, she said it was 29. We're coming up on 30. Oh, we're coming up on 30 now. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, she's the love of my life. And she's going to... Uh, actually, did you tell them about being the manager now? Yes. What? Is that one? Yeah. Yeah, baby. Uh, she's going to be managing Franz all over the country, ladies and gentlemen. So you'll be hearing for her. Come on up here, honey. Damn, this is your show. It turned out pretty damn good, didn't it? It turned out wonderful. Are you happy? I'm really happy. Um, and one thing, you know, I could go on forever with this man, but I just... Oh, wow. I couldn't, I couldn't <gasps> last that long. Well, I got batteries, thanks to... You got batteries? <laughs> this is what I'm going to say, because I was a mess before you saw. You have my heart. You always have, and you always will. I love you. I'm so sorry. Um, Don't cry. There is no man greater than Ronnie Dove. You know, I'm, and I am going to have a, you know, just a blast with this guy. I mean, we're going to tour the country. We're going to be here a lot in this area. We are going to have so much fun. But you got my heart. Okay? Um, and I just want to say, there is a wonderful lady sitting back on table 20. I'm going to do this because I promised I would do it. She's sitting at table 20. Stand up, Dolly. Can you stand up for me? This lady was diagnosed with terminal cancer. She has one year to live. And she had to see Ronnie Dove today. So she's here with us to celebrate life. Thank you, Dolly. Thank you for coming, and God bless you. Let's all say prayers for her tonight, too, also. Of course, my good friend Pete and you, darling. Molly, we love you, baby, and that's an honor to be able to entertain you tonight. I need to sing. <laughs> no, you said you I can't sing. I'm crying too. <laughs> Let's pay tribute to our boys and girls and so, so we can be here tonight doing the lovely things we do. And I know the front and in France and all those folks are with us and pray for them too because we're all in this together. Amen. If tomorrow all the things were gone, I work and I had to start again with just my children and my wife. I think my lucky stars she'd be living here today. Cause the flag still stands for freedom. And you can't take that away
Cause there ain't no doubt